Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Rob here from Ramp Studio Comics. So today's video, I'm going to draw through some of my studies and talk a little bit about how I do this. So this is something I do to kind of, you know, beef up my knowledge of anatomy and, and work on various parts of the body. So we're going to work on the shoulder uh, just because uh, there's been a few more requests on that. And quite honestly, the shoulders are just tough for me as well. So might as well focus some efforts there. Um, first off, I'm going to say that I am going to stylize this. I'm not trying to make an exact recreation of what we see here. Uh, obviously, I draw comics. If you watch the channel, you know that. So um, I tend to stylize the work as I go. But the main thing is studying this side shot uh, is that the, you see this kind of teardrop or upside down teardrop uh, right in the middle there. It's kind of a similar pattern with uh, you know a few of these areas. But the main thing that I'm kind of paying attention to here is that there's a slope downwards. And I'll be honest, I before looking at this or studying this, I kind of was uh, missing that in my work. So I want to I want to look for the things that uh, look almost strange to me in a sense that I'm missing them. I'm not seeing them as well in my own work. We can see that the, tra the uh, trapezius goes down like this. This is obviously the deltoid. And then the other thing that I thought was kind of neat by watching this is just the way that they really kind of taper inward and pull so tightly and then the uh, tricep you know comes from behind there you know you see the one side it's obviously uh, three uh, to the tricep which I want to say the third head is right to the middle back here you don't see it in this illustration which I think is kind of strange considering I've always uh, found there to be three heads in there so I must be missing something but we're not really going to focus on this muscle. I just, you know, I just want to explain the thought process. But then also, just the amount of shading that you see right here. I think this is important. So if we come over to here, let me just flip these colors so I can jump back and forth. Uh, I think it's important to illustrate over the top of this stuff and, and basically trace, you know. And, uh, you know, there's always this, like, this weird idea that tracing is a bad thing, but... When you're trying to really study and figure out these shapes, these shapes that you're basically going to commit to memory, I think it's important to trace and really look at that. Now look at what I've got here compared to what I have over here. Now again, I did mention that I'm going to stylize this. It's going to be an overly stylized representation, mainly because I feel that if you trace something uh, in your work, it never looks as dynamic or as impactful as it needs to for comics. That's just my interpretation of that I like the, I like the distorted proportions <laughs> you probably know if you look at my work it's pretty distorted but but still it's important to trace and be aware of these shapes but the part that I'm seeing over here is just that that indentation and that shading that you see right there uh, really helps you to feel how dramatic that is likewise over here with the uh, pectoral muscle how it kind of sprawls out like this and you get this pocket of shadow right here. So just, you know, just important notes to take. And again, that's where I think tracing on this side is pretty uh, helpful. Now we'll come back over to here, continue to draw this out. Notice how that shoulder just kind of blends right into the pectoral muscle. Or I don't know if you say pectoral muscles maybe, but I say pectoral muscle, but... Anyways, uh, I think there's five of them that sprawl out and connect to the center of the chest. But just like that, you know, and I think it's also helpful to pay attention to these guys. Like, I always seem to get those wrong. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, neat paying attention to this. So this is just really a lot of fun. It's really necessary for getting good at drawing your characters. But, like I said, what I want to do is kind of exaggerate some of this. So I might... Throw in some sharper angles over here. Uh, you know, just kind of... Well, I skipped the bicep altogether, didn't I? Goodness gracious. Let's get the bicep in there. And I'm not even going to edit that out. You guys are going to watch me make mistakes. Because you know what? That's how we learn, folks. So quit trying to avoid your mistakes. And embrace your imperfections. You heard it from me. Embrace it. Your imperfections make you beautiful. Okay, so anyways, enough of that jazz. Um, so yeah, so you know, back to these muscles over here, which I think are pretty neat, which I always 
kind of think are ribs, but they're obviously muscles over the ribs. Some. So for the superhero chest, I'm going to bring this way out, obviously, you know, something like that. And, you know, I'm going to over uh, dramatize it. So, again, that's kind of what I'm doing there. Now, another thing I might do is I might just add an extra little dip in there and an angle over here. Because, again, I'm, I'm trying to make it more of a stylized idea. Uh, so there's there's a couple ways to look at this. For your studies, you could just try to go as close to reality uh, and then do a separate version, you know, where you start to stylize and render. Uh, there's all different ways you should probably try these things and, and, you know, create variety in your work. But just like that, I feel like I've got a better understanding. So what are the things that uh, I've learned just by doing this? Uh, really, the, the bend and the twist that I'm not showing is, is evident in my work that you see here in the deltoid. Um, and then probably the way that it slope, slopes down so far there. I really didn't notice that. And the more I pay attention to this bottom shot, the more I kind of didn't realize it was so uh, tucked into the trapezius like that. I, I don't know why, I just kind of always drew these more segmented. Uh, so I want to pay attention to that. So let me go ahead and go to that next. Create another layer here. So this is kind of the part where I feel it's important to look at certain aspects of the work and go, what do I need to learn right now? What is, what's eluding me the most? And this would be one of those uh, kind of gems of, of uh, advice or study or whatever, um, that not only am I not getting the shape of the shoulders right, because even this, like how it comes out, and again, I kind of over-dramatize this, but it comes down, actually there's probably another bend right here, down and around, and then it starts to go up, swing back, but yeah, it tucks right into that trapezius, so here's your deltoid, and forgive me, there's like a lateral distal metal thing, there's like three heads to the deltoid, uh, don't know those to, to explain that correctly, so just trust me there, there's three of them in there, it's mainly front, back, and middle or something, side, but uh, then again, the tricep comes from underneath, like that. So you see it's in here somewhere. And this is another part that I never really got right, but it's like this. And again, we're really just focused on the deltoid, but since they all connect, I feel like I need to go at least one step over. Um, I would imagine this is the scapula muscle. It looks like the scapula I don't know the name of this guy or this guy, but just the, the shapes here uh, are really interesting. And then I know this is the Latimus uh, Dorsey, or the Lats, as the big buff guys in the gym like to refer to them as. Working the Lats, dude. Working the Lats. Come spot me while I do my Lats. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> you can tell I haven't been in the gym lately, right? Uh, but yeah, something like that. So, so, but just those shapes here. So remember just this kind of V, uh, you know, triangular downward V right there. Um, another V and probably just a, almost a rectangle there. Not really a rectangle, but you know what I mean? Just a, a little slanted box there. And that kind of comes up here. So it gets encased by uh, the trapezius and then that goes over the Latimus Dorsey, and then this has some, some curve there, which is probably good to know. Um, I don't know that I ever really show that when I illustrate in the comic style. And then as far as the, the tricep, again, this is kind of weird to me because I always thought, and I'm going to have to fact check this or double check this, I always thought the third head to the tricep was right here, but I don't see that in the illustration. So. Um, or 3D graphic, whatever this is, but we'll just go with the split here for now because I'm not going to pretend like I know more than this uh, this uh, really great reference. Um, so yeah, but, but again, this slant downward is something that wasn't as evident in my work that I need to pay attention to. Um, and then I guess mainly to this like curve into the, the segments of the... Um, the delt. Um, and then really the way it connects back here is, is probably the area that I need to, to pay attention to the most uh, to get right in my illustrations. 
So again, there's our quick study right there. Uh, you know, I've got the delt just like huge, but that's fine because I I would draw that bigger and then I would draw the tricep way out here for my comic style and you know just really over kind of exaggerate some things here. And again, that's that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, folks. Have fun with it. It's your your art. Do what you want. But yeah, something like that. So again, let's go over here real quick. Let's trace. I know a lot of you think tracing is just evil, but we're going to do it anyways. It's important sometimes. So I'm going to go over here. And you could probably start with tracing it first. And try to like take notes on the shapes that you see. Like you can see I got the, the delt entirely wrong for the shape. Which kind of makes sense because since I struggle with drawing the shoulders, then you know I'm probably not going to nail it the first time, uh, or else I probably would already got it. So it's it's kind of neat finding these problem areas in your work, and then trying to uh, you know break them down and, and get past it. Yeah, look at that curve on that Latimus Dorsey. Pretty wild, pretty wild curve there. Also, pay attention to that diamond. I think I've talked about this in other videos, but this is a nice little diamond shape you can remember right there so that you don't draw this as a straight line going all the way down the spine. Uh, but yeah, so that, that trace, you know, again, kind of it shows a few more things that, uh, that I'm probably getting wrong over here. But the main thing is to think about the shoulder. Again, we see this kind of teardrop, you know, kind of on an angle. The slope that we see here, I think that's important and then the way that it you know folds over connects right to the uh, trapezius but then how it really goes over top and creates some shadowing uh, to these muscles down here so just pay attention to those and, and always pay attention to your connection points those are the areas that will kind of uh, make the biggest difference in your work uh, let me look at the other one so this is from the front I feel like we should do one from each angle uh, so that you got a, a good uh, understanding of this. So let's do one more. And let's start this time by doing our trace first. See if that uh, helps us explore anything else or reveal anything else. So we come across like this. You know, here's basically the shoulder. What I think is kind of neat about this is that the chest is so predominant from this type of pose. So you know, obviously the shoulder can uh, rotate and, you know, pivot and come forward and to the back and all that um, but you know from this angle where the shoulders are kind of back the chest takes you know the pectoral takes a lot of dominance so it's kind of neat how that works but on the biceps this makes sense you got two heads to the bicep that's what that little split is you see a little bit of the triceps from here a little bit of that latimus uh, dorsi or lats I don't know these ones I imagine they're just like some kind of rib muscles but so yeah so there's our trace so let's let's look at this shape off to the side and go well it's just basically this again kind of teardrop but now it's become a little bit more like a um, a snail going uphill or downhill what what side of a snail is bigger it's a snail anyways that's that's what I see okay so something like that so there's our shape and then, you know, I think it's helpful to pay attention to the way that the chest splits off. And, you know, more important to, if you're struggling with this part, is where does the, the bicep occur? So you see it's it's tucked under there. And you, from this shot, this, you know, skinny kind of ripped up character, very, very uh, lean <laughs> illustration, is there's almost no tricep poking around. Now for comics, you know, we're going to take that a bit further and, uh, draw more tricep because they just got to have like muscles from every view basically but yeah so let's start with the shoulder let's get in our, our snail going uphill or downhill whatever that is and I'm just saying that because you got to try to relate some kind of shape I think a teardrop is probably better um, but you got to try to always think of these shapes and it becomes a lot easier to draw from memory and you know you don't have to pull reference every time because that's just exhausting but I, I really like that. Uh, I noticed this one a long time ago, uh, how they kind of tuck into the, the bottom of the, the delt and they sprawl outward. And it's why when you bunch up your chest, all these kind of come together 
or you know like if you squeeze your chest together and you get this bit of a bulge right there it's because there's like five I think it's five different muscles right there and then so again we want to pay attention to the way the bicep comes up and under this right so the, the pectoral goes over it the bicep kind of pops out here there's two heads to the bicep again this was more about the shoulder but all of a sudden I'm talking about the other muscles it's just I don't know it just feels natural because it's kind of the way it goes so I'm gonna quickly stylize it so based on what I'm looking at the way I would potentially draw uh, more my comic style because again that's what we're we're doing on the channel here so I feel like that's what I should be showing you because you know you could just pull up these pictures yourself and draw them all day long until you really understand them um, but I want to show you how I would kind of convert this to my stylized drawing real quick so I would add in some angles that aren't really there I would over exaggerate some things I wouldn't draw every single line uh, that I've drawn as I'm trying to study the um, the exact anatomy and then you know, I'd make the bicep way bigger I like to bring this in and down and show more of that that kind of divot that you get and you got to figure too the body does look different with skin and, and fat and all that over the top I mean even superheroes are gonna have a little bit of that stuff going on so and I think it's hard to see from here but I think the uh, trapezius is gonna be like this and I would probably bring this up higher too so I tend to draw these pretty big and see I'm just I keep nudging these lines over because I'm thinking well I'm looking at this but I'm still trying to think of some style and, and like what what am I after you know what does this character look like and uh, how big are they is it a spider-man or is it a, a wolverine or, or whoever you know because they're all different kind of proportions right so you gotta that goes into your your way of thinking as you do this but for now I'm just gonna kind of pick something I think you would see the yeah and see there's another mistake that I just naturally draw in so this is me drawing the um, the tricep that you're seeing from the back which you do see it from the back here but look how it comes down and then back out so let me try that over here because again that's kind of exploiting a mistake that I would just naturally make by not knowing my anatomy as well as I probably should and then you know if you give them these big lats and he's kind of flexed out maybe that comes way down here I feel like it needs to be a bit wider Okay. But yeah, so basically just like that. I mean, I won't get too far into this because I don't need to show you how to how to draw this, but um and then probably the shading, you know. Obviously, it really you can see on that model how it makes such a big difference. So we drop in a little bit of that shading back in here, push this information back just like that. Instant muscles. All right, now the way I do my stomach muscles, you see that here they're just like straight over like that. I don't know that that looks, well, I can't say it doesn't look correct. That would be correct, but the way I do it is like this stylized kind of shape. So I'll put like a little point down in the middle. And you see I keep like widening out the side here. There's like your obliques. You see I shift this all together so basically I would need to find some more illustrations that are a little bit more centrally focused on this and then uh, keep exploring these ideas but hopefully this gives you an understanding an idea because this is this is how I study you're basically just studying along with me right now so hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do to better understand uh, the anatomy and um, just explore certain parts so just you know, one of the questions that I just got recently was, you know, what do I work on first or what do I do next? And that kind of thing. It's always kind of a repetitive question that I get. 
And the thing that I, I would say there, I think I replied uh, to the student with was, you know, just you, you have to like look at what just doesn't feel right in your work. For me, I'm, you know, I've got, I can see just even with this, I still got to learn a little bit more about shoulders. This area is pretty, pretty far off and pretty skewed from where it needs to be. Um, I also, I don't let it cripple me and, and stop me from creating. I'm, I'm still happy with whatever I get to it, at today's current, you know, juncture, wherever I'm at. But at the same time, I look at those and go, okay, that's, I really need to dedicate some more time to shoulder studies, to the side oblique muscles and, and whatever it is. So you, you just have to look at kind of the weakest link in your, your workflow and you'll know because you'll get to it and you'll start st stuttering a bit when you draw. You'll start to get there and, ah, where does this line go? I, I don't know. Does this come up over here? Should I put a line there? Should I put a shadow there? You'll start questioning yourself more. If that's the case, then that's probably where you need to focus some, some studies. So again, just try some of these. Just It doesn't have to be all that advanced. Uh, and I also save your studies, date them. You want to really keep track of where you're at and what you're doing. Um, so that you can look back in retrospect and go, wow, okay, you know, I was here at this juncture. I have made a lot of progress and you can kind of uh, feel a little bit better about that. So date all your work, save it. Uh, obviously, if you save it digitally, it's going to date the file, that kind of thing. But yeah, let me know what you think of this particular video. If you want to see more of these, I'd be happy to make them. And I appreciate the support of the channel. So as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.